Greetings everyone and welcome to our back to school night presentation. My name is Benjamin Kapler. I'm a technology teacher here at High Point Regional High School and this is the CAD 1 class. Um, I just want to give you a little overview I guess first before we get too far just about what CAD is. So I'm going to run this video here in the background and, and kind of talk about it just a little bit. So CAD stands for Computer Aided Design or if you ever see CAD with 2Ds, Computer Aided Drafting and Design. Uh, in this instance, uh, it's the year 2021. We're on like the newest version or iteration of this software, and you you are only seeing 1D. So drafting is, uh, you know, as as we had maybe thought about it in the past, um, where you know someone is sitting down at a drafting table with a, a lead pencil and you know working with a T square and, and a piece of paper on a set of drawings, uh, somewhat archaic, and and it's not necessarily the workflow anymore. Uh, you can see on the screen here somebody designing a part live in 3D uh, in context of a larger uh, design project. And, and that's very much how the real world operates at this point. So many uh, designers, engineers, people who utilize CAD for a number of different purposes um, are all really just working with software at this point and trying to develop the most efficient and uh, 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 prototype for whatever their design challenge might be. Uh, this software is used in a number of different industries uh, for all kinds, of, all kinds of different purposes. So anything from automotive design uh, to manufacturing, really just about any product that you can hold in your hand um, or uh, interact with over the course of the day, uh, was most likely drawn in CAD at some point. Uh, sneakers and clothing, all, all the things that, um, you know, that we could go to the store and, and basically purchase was, was most likely drawn in the computer at some point by, uh, by its designer or, um, you know, a team of uh, individuals who are, who are engineering it. Uh, so this software is utilized all over the place and it's, it's relatively, relatively powerful and, and popular. So your kids are going to be getting up to speed with, uh, with how to do that stuff. Um, in the class, I just want to kind of bounce back to our Google Classroom here real quick and, and just talk to you about this a little bit. Uh, Google Classroom is really the main place where we uh, interact. Um, so, you know, there are kids who are coming to school. There's also a number of kids who don't come to school at all. Um, and they're learning completely virtually all online. So if kids are coming to school, they are really getting kind of the same thing that kids are getting at home. Uh, there, those two things are running side by side. Um, we have computers at school where kids can use the software, but we also have solutions so kids at home, no matter what device they're on, are going to be able to access the same software and the same learning objectives that kids are getting, uh, even if they're coming in. Um, so I just want to show you our Google Classroom and, and kind of make everybody aware of how this works and what's going on. So when we meet in class uh, based on our schedule, uh, students can log into our classroom here and uh, they're going to be in the same environment as you know like really everybody else they're going to be getting the same content and the same information during the same time period when everybody's meeting um, i have here on our, just our stream uh, it's basically all of the updates uh, and announcements for class so many of the updates and announcements are just reminders like what time we're meeting and, and when things are happening at this point uh, but i do have some other content that's up there if you want to kind of go back through and take a look at um, you know, the announcements that were posted or, or anything like that, it'll always be up there for you. Um, outside of just the stream, you have a classwork tab, and this is basically where all of the assignments are going to get posted. So if you ever are curious about what the students are working on, all that stuff is in there, and you can go in and you can view exactly what they're doing, how many points it's worth, and you should even be able to see um, what uh, was completed and, and what wasn't and how many points it was worth and what the score was that your child received. Um, you are certainly invited and welcome to, uh, you know, be a part of the class uh, as a parent. So your kids have actually been, in, been uh, tasked with inviting you up until this point. If they have not done so yet, please ask them to do so. They can add you as a guardian in Google Classroom. All right, and then you can certainly keep up with what's going on in class and pay attention to grades. Um, all of your child's grades will be uh, posted under the grades tab. Uh, I should have some feedback in there for everybody individually. 
Um, if not, I usually try to give give feedback, um, you know, face to face if I see them or in classroom, we might even do like a breakout session and I can have one on one interactions with them as well. Um, so with that said, uh, that's about the end of my time for uh, for back to school night presentation. It's not a tremendous amount of time and it's kind of unfortunate. I in the past really enjoyed getting a chance to see everybody face to face and stuff like that. So um, this whole, you know, kind of just speaking at you from my end of the computer and not getting a chance to see you is a little bit disappointing. So just if um, you need me for anything at all, please reach out. My uh, email address is bkapler, K-A-P-P-L-E-R, at hpregional.org. You can find me in the staff directory relatively easily. Um, my email address is in there, and I get back to people relatively quick. So uh, certainly within 24 hours. If you have anything at all that you need, I'm here for you. All right. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for everything, and uh, have a great rest of your back-to-school night. Take care.